All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting into the meat and potatoes of putting down events on your overworld. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button up here, which is the Open Layer 2 Event Tile Selector window, which is this. Let me go back to Layer 2 for just a second here. So you'll see that the tiles in this Event Tile Selector window are all of these things that are sitting off to the side uh, in the giant blue void. So there are all these big tiles here and you can scroll through these with the up and down arrow keys. And then when you get down to here you see some smaller tiles which are taken from these path tiles that are already given to you. So that's sort of what we're going to use. Now before we actually use them I want to do a little bit of touching up here on my layer 2 on the overworld. I've got the paths here and they're kind of transparent so they may be difficult to see. This first path should already be there because it's enabled from the start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put down some path tiles like this. So I'm going to do it right over the existing, the existing path. Oops. And just do that. Now I've got to fill those in with the tiles that I need. And I believe I need this one. So let's flip that. And let's flip it again. Wrong button. Wrong key, rather. So those go there. And this one is going to fill in all of those little spots. So again, sometimes you have to lean forward and squint really hard just to see what's going on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here on the layer 2, in this layer 2 area, wherever. And if I press page up and page down, what it'll do is it'll scroll through the palettes, the different palettes that are there. And I'm going to find the appropriate palette for the Valley of Bowser here. Just let me take off layer one for a second there so I can see what I'm doing. So I wanted that one. Okay, good. So put that back on. Very nice. So let's change palettes back to the normal, like that. Well, semi-normal. One of the normal ones. Anyway, so now we are going to go into Layer 2 Event Editor Mode. Now the process for putting down events is the same for both Layers 1 and Layer 2. I haven't actually done any events in Layer 1, and I don't really see the need to, so... Um, but just be aware that the process is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press page up or page down to get to the event that I want. So I want event 0, which is the event activated by passing this level here. So here I am, status bar says event 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the event tile selector window, scroll up and down until I find the tile that I want, and you'll see that it automatically uh, makes you select a 16 by 16 region. So what I want is this one and I'm going to paste it here, like that. Now what's very important, actually that's not the one I want. I lied. I want a different one. Let's see, I want this one. Now it's very important that you paste them in the order that you want them to appear. Let me say that again. You need to paste them in the order that you want them to appear, because that's the order that they will appear. So I'm going to paste this one. Let's paste some water ones. Like that. Which one did I just use? I'll use the same one again. That's okay. And then for the next one, we'll do this. We'll move it over like that. And we'll do this. Okay, good. Now, remember the home and end keys. You can use home and end keys to go step by step through your event. 
So here's the event before anything happens, and I press home, and I can see which tiles are being revealed step by step, which is exactly what I want. Good. So now I'm going to press page up. So now I'm on event number one, which goes from this level over to the ghost house. So again, I'm pasting them in the order I want them to appear, like this. So now I need to find a different one, and I believe it's this one. I need a horizontal one. There it is. One, two, and then we'll put uh, one of these circles behind it. So now again, I'm going to use home and end, the home key and the end key, to view the event step by step. Very good. Page up. Now I'm on event number two, which goes to the right from the ghost house. So let's find the first piece, which is that one, like so. Now, the second piece, let's find the second piece. Aha. So, it turns out that I do not have a piece for the rest of the path, for the diagonal section going down here. I don't have a, an adequate piece. If I try to use this one, it's, it's, it doesn't line up, doesn't line up very well. So I'm going to delete that. So that's okay. What you can do is this. I'm going to go back to layer 2, editor mode. And down here, I'm going to start making the pieces that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going go to the, go to the tile selector window here. Get the right colors. So I need this piece. And then I need his brother. And then I need some blank, um, some greens. There's some greens. And then I need also, well, I'll show you. So I have this. So I need this again, but I need it flipped over. So I need it like this. And same with that one. And then I'll just use, I'll use the same thing. I'll do that. Good. So I'm going to move this over to here, move this over to here, cover that back over just because I feel like it. OK. So now back, now back to uh, layer 2 event editor mode. So now in my tile selector window, when I scroll down, now I've got two new tiles here. So I'm going to use this, like that, and like that. And I'm just going to keep repeating that. Again, pasting them in the order that I want them to appear. All the way down. OK, so now for this next piece, I need just the little corner there, little lower corner. And I do not believe that I have that, so I'm going to go back to layer 2, editor mode. I'm going to find that piece somewhere. I'll just do it directly. And then paste some greens around it. So now back to layer 2, event editor mode. Scroll down, here's the piece I want. And I'll paste it in right there. And then the last piece should already exist, just a matter of finding it. Got it. OK, and there we go. So as you can see, if we do home and end again, so my path is going to appear like this. And I can take off, I can take that off and show you this version. It's a bit more clear what's happening, like that. So I'm going to come back in just a little bit do the rest of the paths, and uh, there's a few other things I want to show you, and then we'll test it out.